Hey YouTube, Southwest252 here with another video, and this time I'll be reviewing the NG Models 1200 scale Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 in the Amua 1 livery. Before I get into the review, I would just like to say I'd really appreciate it if you check out my Instagram, and the link for that is in the description below. So I'll start off with the box. You've got the box art on the back there. I'm not sure if it's the same as the 1400 version. I haven't looked at the box recently, but it is similar, I know. You have, it's, and it's the same type of box as the 1400 uh, in terms of the box art on the front. So you do have your computer generated image of the aircraft in the middle. Southwest, the registration of this model is November 8710 Mike. Emu 1, NG models, and 1200 scale collectible models die cast metal. On the bottom of the box, you just got the same sort of box art. But you do have the item number, and the item number for this model is 92001. Now the left side of the box is completely white, and actually it the front of the box is just kind of a thin cardboard that slides off to the real box, which is just a white blank box, but it's similar to the Gemini 200 box uh, for the 737 and like aircraft um, with the metal button and everything. Uh, to make just so you can get out the model same styrofoam and everything inside there's the top of the box similar to the bottom and then the right's just the same as the left you've got on the back same box art you just without the computer generated image um warning choking hazard small parts for adult collectors not suitable for children under 14 years old that's all for the box and i'm actually going to take it out of the way for now it does come with the replacement gear up mode, um, so you can display it on the stand. It does. It is supposed to come with the stand, however, for some reason mine did not, and with the lack of quality control from a different bunch of different model manufacturers and all that, I kind of just didn't feel like bothering to exchange it. So it should come with the stand, but mine did not. Um, so it does have the replacement gear up mode for the stand if you want to use that. Also, it comes with the push pin. Uh, it's magnetic, so it actually helps getting the gears in place and uh, holds on to them so they don't uh, you don't lose them. So I think that's a nice touch. And now for the model. So this is the first 1200 scale release for NG models uh, on the 737 MAX 8. And it's this Mule 1 model, so obviously it's my first one from NG. My initial thoughts are I think the mold is pretty great. Um, nothing inherently obvious that I can see that's wrong with it. There are, is one minor thing that I do want to point out, which I'll point out later. But overall, I'm very happy with it. So I will start down with the cockpit windows. Actually, the nose. Uh, so you do have, the nose cone is painted on. Uh, it's just very hard to tell. Uh, it's kind of right there, though. And you have the pitot tubes. It does say Amua 1. There's your cockpit windows, there's the nose gear. Uh, the gears are rubber and do roll. Uh, the front one nose gear does not turn uh, like the Gemini Jets uh, 737 Next Generation models do, um, but that's not really a big deal. On the gear door, it does say 8710 ETOPS. There's the L1 door with the heart logo next to it, and then you have the M01 design. It, changes the different colors, blends in. You have an antenna on top here. There's your overwing emergency escape doors and routes painted on the wings. Your flat fairings in the back, your AT winglet. Uh, and it, one thing I forgot to mention on top, it does have uh, sort of a uh, crystally looking thing for the beacon on top. Then you have the engines, and this is the minor complaint that I have. Just like their 1400 version, I don't think the engines slope as much as they should. So I think it should be there should be a little bit more slope to it on top there. Um, that's a minor thing, but I think that's something that could be improved slightly. But then you have the same chevron pattern in the back. Your engine views here up front. I actually don't know if they spin. I haven't tried it. Um but that wouldn't really affect anything here, uh, for me at least. Then you have uh, the design of the aircraft as you move further back. You have a Wi-Fi dome on top there. 
Uh, it is in the standard heart livery blue. However, it should have a white outline around it, but MG doesn't have that painted on. You have another antenna there. Then you have the fleet number 8710 again and ETOPS written underneath it and the registration above that rear door, which again is November 8710 Mike. Then you have the special Southwest tail. And then you move to the other side, you have the cargo luggage doors there in the front above that antenna. You can just make it out. And then to the bottom right of the registration. Uh, again, it's hard to tell, but it is there. So here is the front view of this aircraft. Here's the right side. There's the back view. Here's the left side. Here's the top view. And here is underneath. So it does say max eight up by the nose cone. Again, there's your nose gear. All the gears are rubber and do roll and are removable. You've got an antenna, you've got the heart logo. You have the stand hole in the middle there. Again, it should come with the stand. Like I said, lack of quality control. Mine did not come with one, but I'm not even gonna bother. You've got the uh, main gears here, underneath the wings and engines. Move towards the back, you do have two more antennas there. And then all the way at the back, you've got the doors for the APU, APU itself, and the tail scraper. So overall, I think this is a very fantastic model. Uh, just the, really just the slight uh, slanting issue on the engines because they are angled upwards a little bit, or should be slanted upwards, I should say, uh, on the top, not not the whole engine, uh, but the actual top of the engine. Uh, so that, that could be improved on a little bit. And also the very minor uh, paint on top that should be white surrounding the Wi-Fi dome. Other than that, the models, pretty good but also it is disappointing that they left out the stand a lack of quality control there so that will be factoring into the uh, rating and I'll be giving this due to all those a score of 27 out of 30 and that's going to be it for this review thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new and once again I'd really appreciate it if you check out my Instagram and the link for that is in the description below thanks again for watching bye we would like to point out the safety features of this Boeing 737-700 series aircraft. You're looking at the Southwest Airlines bestseller. It's a safety information card. It's in the seat uh, pocket in front of you. It works as a fan for no extra charge. You're welcome. And it reads as a comic book. It has a lot of short stories. None of them ends well. Absolutely fine.